speaking of hard times that haven't left us yet, the uh, the orange Nazi, while he is in Scotland or Ireland, someplace polluting those two countries with his mere presence, he uh, issued a statement the other day about Eugene Carroll and the charges against him of rape and defamation and so on and so forth. Um, but she, Miss Carroll, has made no bones about the fact that um, the orange Nazis' stature, <laughs> stature as a political figure is part of the reason she filed a lawsuit against him. Now, and, and, and please keep this in mind, that Miss Carroll only decided to sue this son of a bitch after his insulting public denials. He denies everything. He is the most toxic son of a bitch I have come across in my entire life, that I personally have come across in my entire life. Just an absolute bastard. But he's the type of person, if, if given power, well, you saw what he did when he, when he had power for four years, and had it not been for the fact there were people around him who kept in check his worst, slimiest, filthiest uh, objectives, God only knows where we would be now. But, but Trump is just a goddamn psycho. But anyway, uh, Ms. Carroll said she filed a lawsuit because, in part, because of the shit he was saying about her. Um, and in the lawsuit, or, or the things he was saying about her, he not only claimed that Ms. Carroll was lying and had denigrating remarks to say about her physical appearance, but um, remember he said he wouldn't have raped her because she's not his type. I mean, what? Jesus Christ, if, if ever... Uh, 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 another man said things that I like to just punch a son of a bitch out for it. Statements like that. I mean, seriously, don't you? Uh, I mean, I'll admit it. I'd like to just blast him right in the fucking nose. I'm serious. Of course, I never would. <laughs> now, this bastard's power and influence um, are both obvious. And there are pieces of evidence in support of Ms. Carroll's claim that his statements harmed her. But yesterday, while this rat, rat bastard was in Ireland, he went off on E. Jean Carroll, and he suggested that his stature and his political power and his importance as a human being are precisely what should insulate him from the rape and defamation charges in the trial now underway. This is going to end Monday, I believe. Sky News captured some of what this piece of human waste said. Here are here's some of the uh, remarks. Trump. I have to leave Ireland and I have to leave Scotland where I have great properties. I have to leave early. I don't have to, but I choose to. Reporter. Will you attend the trial, Mr. President? Trump. I'll probably attend. And I think it's a disgrace. And then the clip, the audio clip jumps to this. This is Trump again. It's a disgrace that it's allowed to happen. It's called false accusations against a rich guy, or in my case, against a famous, rich, and political person that's leading the polls by 40 points. And I have to go back for a woman that made false accusations about me. And I have to judge, I have a judge who's extremely hostile. And I'm going to go back, and I'm going to confront this. This woman is a disgrace, and it shouldn't be allowed to happen in our country. Jesus Christ. In my case, a rich and famous and political person. Eh? It's, it's like this, this filthy subhuman android thinks that being rich and, and famous should protect him from accountability. That's what he's learned all his life even up to and including his being indicted on 34 felony counts, the fact that this son of a bitch is going to go down. He is. It's taken his entire useless, filthy life. But it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And, 
and what 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 he said, this tirade that he goes into, it implicitly supports the claims that Miss Carroll made and, and others who have accused this son of a bitch of sexual uh, assault or misconduct or rape because he is indicating that he feels entitled because of who he is. Remember the uh, Access Hollywood tape? Oh, you know, it's real easy, especially if you're famous. <laughs> well, the judge in the case, Lewis Kaplan, um, already has condemned this bastard for one of his social media posts in which he called Carol's lawyer, her lawyer, quote, a political operative. And the orange vomit has said that the case is a made-up scam. You know, a witch hunt. But this is what this filthy pig always does. He tries to malign and denigrate the legitimate accusers that he has stepped on and walked over and pissed on and treated as if he were some kind of a special human being. What a son of a bitch. What, what a total bastard. I'm so sick of talking about him. I really am. So I'll leave it at that. But, uh, I, I mean, the things that he says, right? Hi, True Seekers. Mike Malloy here. You know, the Progressive Voices Network brings you commercial-free commentary from today's leading progressive radio hosts and pundits, like me, Mike Malloy, 24 hours a day. I'm not your typical old guy from the 80s or the 90s talk radio host, and Progressive Voices is not your typical talk radio network. It's a listener-supported nonprofit with no corporate control whatsoever over our broadcast. So hosts like me, Mike Malloy, can, are free to rant and scream and carry on about whatever we like. We're often controversial, but we're never boring. Weeknights, 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, on the Progressive Voices Network. Always progressive, always on. I'm Mike Malloy. Keep it lit.